Hi, it's Alana. Welcome back to Yoga Yin and thank you so much for joining us today. I have actually put together a little sequence today for immunity, thinking that it is of the moment with uh, the threat of COVID-19 or the coronavirus circling the globe. I thought you might like a little yoga sequence just to improve your immune system, keep you nice and healthy. So I hope you enjoy it. Namaste. Be well. So first of all, I want you to come into a comfortable seated position, either Sukhasana with the feet tucked underneath the knees or Sadasana, pose of a sage, which is my personal favourite, or you could come into a kneeling position if that suits you. And we're just going to begin by curling the fingers into fists and we're going to tap just across the sternum. Nice, gentle taps, you don't have to kill yourself here, don't beat yourself up. And this is going to work into our thymus gland, which is responsible for our T cells, those natural killer cells that detect and destroy virus. So if you're younger and you're doing this video, you can pretend that you're Tarzan. And if you're older, you don't have to do that at all because you're perfectly Good. So it's best to do this first thing in the morning. You can do it in the shower if you're embarrassed. And now I just want you to take one hand, left, uh, left hand if you're left-handed, right hand if you're right-handed, and then we're just going to gently just bump into this area. And as we do, we're going to exhale. You ready? Just like this. So that's just waking up that thymus gland and getting those natural killer cells stimulated. Now I want you to come into a cat pose on your mat and I want you to spread your fingers nice and wide, inner elbows towards one another, hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips, like so. Good. And then we're gently going to inhale and open up the throat. And then exhale and curl through the spine, drop the head. And just continue inhaling and exhaling. Couple more. And then come back to centre, walk your hands forward, spread those fingers nice and wide, inner elbows towards one another, and we're going to gently come back into a downward dog, which is not only good for our endocrine system, but for our immune system as well. So come up onto your toes and just drop your knees so you're parallel with the mat, and then lift the hips high in the air. And if you're not comfortable here, just gently walk through your feet, or if you are, lower those heels towards the mat, six deep breaths. Good, and then gently drop your knees down, uncurl your toes, walk your hands back, take your legs out in front of you, point the toes, toes together, and then we're going to gently just anchor those palms down underneath the buttocks, drop the head back, just be careful if you have any neck issues with this one, six deep breaths here.
Beautiful. And then release it. Come all the way down to lying on your mat. Arms a little way out for the body. Feet rolling out to the sides. Palms facing upward. Chin is tucked in. Close your eyes. And then float them open, gently roll off to one side, and make your way back to see. So that is a really quick little yoga sequence for immunity that you can do every morning before you have breakfast. We're just working into stimulating the thymus glands and getting those T cells really activated to fight off any virus and then gently working through the body and the spine and into downward dog which is really good for your immune system and then coming into a back bend which again stimulates those t-cells and then just resting in shavasana for a few deep breaths so i hope you enjoy it stay well namaste